Here we're going to look at a more complex nested if. We have a begin, we have the user input the score, and we're going to check if the score is greater than or equal to 90, we'll give them the output of you have an A. If it's not greater than 90, it drops down to check, is the score greater than or equal to 80? If that's true, they get a B. If that's not true, it will drop down to the next selector or decision, which is, is the score greater than or equal to 70? If it's true, they get a C. If it's false, they're going to check and see if it's greater than 60. If it is, they have a D. Otherwise, if they have less than 60, it's an F. And you can see how this sort of filters things, so that the high score will filter out here before it goes to the end. It won't check any further if it's here. So this filters out anything 90 or above. So anything that's going on down this branch of the logic has to be less than 90. Here it's less than 80 and so forth. So this is a more complex or nested if statement. Simple way to check and see if the user has what letter grade they have. Let's give it a shot. If we put in 99, the initial logic's OK, and we have an A. If we put in 85, it should be a B. I always like to check every branch of the logic to make sure it's working. We're just going to put in an exact 70, which should be a C. And that works. We'll try it with a D. Put it in 63. My program is not user friendly. In fact, it's a little bit rude. I'm going to put in a score of 20 or 34. And it asks you if you even opened the book. And that's it. That's a nested if statement.